Hey guys, today we'll be solving this question, the integral of dx by sin x minus a cos x minus b. This is a very important question from the ISC point of view. So be sure to look at the solution carefully and let me know in the comments if you have any doubt. So let's begin. So we're going to be using a trick in this solution. In the first step, I'm going to be multiplying and dividing a constant in this fraction and the constant is cos b minus a. This is a constant because there is no variable involved in it. In our case, the variable is x. Since there is no x involved in this, we, this is a constant. So this becomes cos b minus a sin x minus a cos x minus b. We know that we can take constants outside of the integral as well. So I'm going to be just taking out this constant, 1 by cos b minus a. So in the integral sign, we still have a constant in the numerator. And in the denominator, it just remains the same originally. Okay guys, so here comes the second trick that we are going to be using to solve this question. I'm going to be writing the numerator in a different way. I'm going to be writing it as cos in the brackets, square brackets, we have x minus a minus x minus b. This is ultimately b minus a, so it is still a constant. We've just rearranged it in a way so that we also bring x into the picture. The denominator still remains the same. Sin x minus a cos x minus b. Okay, now using this formula, cos a minus b, we are going to be substituting the numerator with its expansion. So it becomes, the constant remains the same outside and the numerator becomes cos x minus a cos x minus b plus sin x minus a sin x minus b. The denominator still remains the same. And now we separate this integral into two separate fractions. Integrand, not integral. The integrand becomes two separate fractions. Cos x minus a, cos x minus b upon sin x minus a, sin, sorry, cos x minus b. You can clearly see that these two terms are getting cancelled out. Then we have plus sin x minus a, sin x minus b upon sin x minus a and cos x minus b. Again, the terms, these two terms are getting cancelled out right over here. Okay, now in the integrand we have, first of all the constant remains the same outside and in the integrand we have cos by sin. So this becomes cot x minus a and now sin by cos. So we have tan x minus b. And we have direct formulas for solving cot and tan, the integral of cot and tan. So the integral of cot x is log mod of sin x. And the integral for tan x is log mod of sec x. So we can directly use these two formulas because x minus a is a linear term of x. So we can directly apply these formulas. So we have the final answer here, cos b minus a. This becomes log mod of sine x. And this becomes log mod of sec x. We can also write sec x as 1 by cos x. We have an arbitrary constant. And using the formula for log, that log a plus log b is equal to log ab, we apply this here. So we have 1 by cos b minus a and we have log, here we have x minus a, so sorry, and here we have x minus b. So this becomes sin x minus a into 1 by cos x minus b, so this becomes cos x minus b and an arbitrary constant. So that's the final answer.